This is a Safety Matters Foundation production. Ever wondered about the common misconceptions surrounding flight and duty time limits? Well, you're not alone. Many myths persist about these limits, and today, we're going to bust them one by one. First, the belief that less fatigue results from more rest. While it sounds logical, it's not the whole story. In reality, it's the quality of sleep, rather than the quantity, that determines how fatigue dissipates. The time of the day also plays a crucial role. Therefore, increasing the rest period from 36 hours to 48 hours may sound promising to a layman, but without the clause to include two nights, the increased rest is useless. The first flight after an extended off should not be a night flight because the body is now used to being awake daily and asleep at night. Compared to subsequent nights, the first night has the highest accidents and fatigue. Then there's the myth that daytime sleep can replace nighttime sleep. This is simply not true. No amount of daytime sleep can fully compensate for a lack of nighttime rest. Next, you may have heard that flight duty periods or FDPs of over 10 hours, day or night, are backed by scientific research. In fact, studies conducted by NASA and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency have limited the maximum flight duty period to 10 hours. Some believe that safety isn't affected if FDP is increased beyond 10 hours. However, the risk of an accident increases significantly with longer duty periods. Duties of 10 to 12 hours carry a relative risk of an accident 1.7 times higher than shorter duties, and for duties of 13 hours or more, the relative risk soars to over 5.5 times higher. Another misconception is that the current flight duty time limit of 60 hours in 7 days is safe, according to global standards. In contrast, the International Labor Organization and the Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code limit maximum working hours to 48 hours per week. A World Health Organization study concluded that long working hours, more than 55 hours per week, led to more than 745,000 deaths from stroke and ischemic heart disease in 2016. And what about the idea that early morning starts cause more fatigue than late night arrivals? A scientific study established the opposite. Late night arrivals actually cause more fatigue than early morning departures. Some believe the 2024 flight duty time limit regulation relieves the operator of the responsibility to manage the risk of fatigue by using a safety management system as per the provisions of International Civil Aviation Organization, Annex 19. However, this is not the case. The 2024 regulation is in non-compliance with this provision and no exemption has been given. Lastly, there's a myth that fatigue is not linked to recent pilot deaths and medical unfit assessments. No study has been conducted to establish a connection, but circumstantial evidence shows an alarming rise in adverse pilot fitness and death, which could be caused due to fatigue. In summary, flight and duty time limits are a complex topic with many misconceptions. It's crucial to understand that quality sleep, appropriate duty periods, and effective fatigue management are all essential for maintaining safety in aviation. Remember, it's not just about the numbers, but also about the quality of rest and duty management. Thank you for your attention. Uh, do visit our website at www.safetymatters.co.in.